guys, Melissa here from Farmhouse Chic, bringing to you today a very small haul. Actually, it's from a bunch of different stores, but um, like I said in the previous video, which you should see before this one, um, where I was just vlogging and driving, did a little shopping today, haven't shopped in a while, uh, so this has been over a couple of months and I just wanted to... Um, bring it to you. I did a little small Dollar Tree haul. I was surprised. I stopped in there real quick to just get some staple things that I get every week and I found a couple of things that um, I'd never seen before. So with that being said, let me jump into the Dollar Tree haul because I have a Dollar Tree, a Thrift, or no, a Dollar Tree, a Goodwill, a Victoria's Secret, an Ulta, and one little item from Amazon I wanted to tell you about. So here we go. The first thing I found were these two little bottles. This one is actually a one quart, and this one is a two quart. They are really nice. You could put water in them, take tea in them. They're just very, very sturdy, very good. I was just really surprised. I haven't used them yet, so I'm assuming they, I'm hoping they don't leak, but they have the really nice pop top on them. It's so you could use this as a water bottle. You can make like Kool-Aid or um, sports drinks or anything like that. Mix it, pre-mix it in this one. So I found both of these. Then I found this little cup. Like I need another cup. But to me, it was just the cutest little thing. They had it in red and gold and green, I think. But it's just a gray cup. It has the double liner in it. So hopefully when you wash it, water's not going to get in between it. It has the lid and the straw, and it's kind of it's kind of shaped like a mason jar type jar cup. But I thought that'd be really neat to put some sweet tea in this summer and some ice. And I picked two of these a whole lot cheaper. If you buy them somewhere like Ross, you get twelve of them for four ninety nine, and this was just two of them for a dollar. So I picked up two packs, so that's four. But I needed a couple of them because I like them because the little sleeveless shirts don't slide off of them. So I picked up two of those. And something I have not seen at the Dollar Tree yet, and I have not seen anybody haul yet. Then again, I haven't had a lot of time to watch YouTube, so it may already be out there. But it was new to me. It is this little candle snuffer. And it's copper, so it goes with my accent copper colors in my kitchen. They also had it in silver and gold. But it's just a, a um, little candle sniff, sip, sniff, candle snuffer. It's a little candle snuffer. And the other two things that I found, well, the other thing, and I bought two of them, I had not yet seen these hauled either, and they are the little lanterns. Are they not adorable? I only bought two. You put a little tea light on the inside, which I already have some tea lights for the Dollar Tree. But if you can look up close, you see that it says homemade, like a homemade mason jar. But I picked up two. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I just thought they were adorable. And I had not seen them at the Dollar Tree. So other than some Ziploc bags and some plastic spoons and a couple of mints and little bags of candy, um, that's really all I got at the Dollar Tree. So showing you my Amazon. I was watching a YouTuber, she's really good, you should check her out. Her name is um, Vanessa Beauty, I think. She was, I straightened my hair, which is very rainy here, and it's been raining for like days and gonna be raining for the next seven days. So of course I don't straighten my hair when it's raining, but I have a hard time because my hair's so thick and curly. And um, I was watching her and she did a review on some things she ordered from Amazon. And one of the things, that she was telling us about was this straightening comb. But um, but all it is is just, all you gotta do is go in there and um, Google straightening comb. But it's just, a, it's called easy comb is what the paper says. But I just typed in straightening comb. And what you do with it, it's just a cheap little comb. It was like $6, it wasn't very expensive. And all you do is, like when you're straightening your hair, you put this above it and you pull this down you pull the straightening iron down and then you pull the comb down after it and it really she did a side-by-side -side view of how it works and it really does work and I've tried it I've used it and it works it just makes the hair smoother and silkier and it was less than seven dollars if you have Amazon Prime you don't have to pay shipping so 
yep, I thought I would just pop in and show you. This is something I ordered actually from the link on her channel, and you can go and check her out. And I think it's in it shows her favorites or something. It's a current video she probably put up about less than a month ago. But it's Vanessa Beauty. She's blonde, has real long blonde hair, and um, but she was talking about some her favorite finds, and this was um, one of them. So I just want to pop that in from Amazon. All right, the next I uh, popped in the Goodwill really quick. I was waiting on somebody to meet and I had a little bit of time to spare. So I popped in there just to see if I found anything. And I actually did find a couple of cute things. Um, one thing was this little glass, see how thin it is? A little pitcher and it's green. And I paid 69 cent for it. I don't know if you can see the 69 cent. But there's no writing on it or anything. It just looks almost like the way the bottom is done, it almost looks like spun glass or something. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And then the next two things I found, which I've seen tons of these, but I've never seen them in the teal. And they were $0.49 cent a piece. And I got two of them. They don't have a lid. But that's who makes them. But they were $0.49 cent a piece. So I thought that was really, really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I liked them. So I grabbed them. And then... Although I hauled a couple similar to this from the Dollar Tree, this was 79 cents, and it's just a little milk jug, but look at it, it says dairy, and it actually has a cow on it. Never seen one with a cow. The other ones that you get from the Dollar Tree are kind of like riveted glass. It's got little marks on it, and I think it just says something on the front, but this one actually has a cow on it. It says dairy. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then for my sister, her name is Bethany. I found this little bee. It was 59 cent. And what's so funny is my grandchildren, which are her niece, niece and nephew, great niece and nephew, they actually call her bee. Instead of saying Bethany, they call her bee. So I found this bee. It still had a tag on it. And I thought that'd be cute just to give to her to remember the grandkids with. But that's the bee. And so also while I was in there, I think it was just my lucky day. It was just a pop in, pop out. And it just happened to be um, my lucky day there because I also found a pair of rainbows. And you can see they're in mint condition. They're the rubber ones. I've actually been wearing them today because it was raining here and I didn't want to wear my leather ones because I, I don't know if you know, but leather rainbows do not feel good on your feet when they get wet. So um, I paid $10 for these in mint condition. And on that same day, I found these Sperry's in black, which I've never seen black Sperry's. They're the real thing. They have the tag on them in mint condition. The bottoms barely even look used, and I paid $15 for these nice black Sperry's. So I picked these up the same day. And these I can wear to work. And they're good, you know, you can wear with capris and stuff. It's comfortable to walk in. And the last pair I found were these Sam and Libby's. Nothing wrong with these. They do look like they somebody warm and they had a little black around the edge here. But i got to clean them up. I haven't worn these yet. But even so, I usually wear black pants all the time anyway. But um, they're real Sam and Libby's, mint condition. And these were just shoe price, which I think were like $3. I thought they'd be really cute this summer for dresses and um, little capri pants. And then the last pair I found, these were just like um, regular price, like $3. But they're the pink camo Under Armors. They're not in mint condition, but what I use them for, because I wear slippers around the house all the time. So in the summertime, I don't like the thick slippers. So I wear these around the house. So they're just very comfortable and very padded. So I picked these up for like... $2.98 or whatever the bin price is. So that is all from the Goodwill. And I think I'm going to cut this video short and do a second video of my Victoria's Secret and my um, Ulta haul. That way it won't be quite so long. All right. So make sure you leave me a comment in the video and let me know about what the new finds at the Dollar Tree and the great finds at the Goodwill. And um, tell me what you think about that cone from Amazon because it truly works and the way she shows it in the video, I mean, she's a real person using it. She's not being sponsored by them. So um, it really works. But give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time.